Hey guys, you haven't heard from me in a while now, have you? It's me, Wizard 100. You remember? I, I hope so, otherwise why else would you be watching? So, this is the vlog for... for the month of May, or at least, you know, the end of May. Probably gonna upload this, like... Hopefully on the same day as the end of uh, May 31st. Is it May 30, 31st or... Uh, what? Well, anyways, I'll upload within like the week of it. Assuming I get this done. But yeah, so, um... What's been going on with me? Well, let's find out. Videos you may have missed. Yeah, I know I haven't been making videos for like the past... Five months or so. Eesh. I think I'd be doing something about that. Well, I mean, I did make a few, just not a lot. Kind of been uh, losing motivation in uh, making the videos because it's just like all the work I put into the video, just not a lot of people are watching it, and it's kind of depressing because it's just like uh, all that time I spent and nothing really, nothing really came out of it. But uh, but for those of you who did watch, uh, you know do all the stuff to help support the video, like, I thank you for that. It's just... need more. But yeah, so the videos that I did put up are the... I'm still... this is still a t work in progress title. But it's, a uh, WD Gaming with, uh, Double Dragon 4. And yeah, the game that I played with, uh, D. Tysonator, who was, uh, my friend, that... we were playing the game because we, it was, uh, to celebrate for the anniversary of uh, the Double Dragon series, and well, if you want to see what I thought about the about the game, look up the video. I don't do those motion things that people say when it's like, hey, the video should be right here. Maybe it's on elsewhere. Another one, I forget when I did this, I think it was before WD Gaming or whatnot, but um, so D. Tyson and I and a few, of, a few people we know, we went to go watch uh, Logan way back in was it March? I forget, but we watched it like, uh, like somewhere early, like 2017 or so. And yeah, we saw the movie. What did, what did I think about it? Watch that video right here, assuming... You know, I always do that, but I always like seem to forget to put the link in there. Check the link in the description if it's not like here. So yeah, I probably sh mm, I should make some more video game related reviews and whatnot, even though I just said I'm kind of like demotivated because not a lot of people are watching it. I should still still try because, well, the less people are going to watch, the less content there is, right? So that's kind of like what I'm going to be working on. I tried doing the, like the vlog like this like a few times before, but it's just like I couldn't, I couldn't say it, say it the way I wanted it say about how I feel with, uh, you know, me making videos and, it, and them not getting watched despite all the work I put into it. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and just continue on with talking about stuff. Also, I don't want to get kicked off uh, for not putting up a video. So this is kind of like a hat. Like a side holder. Is that what you would call it? Plans for next month. Plans that I barely follow because... I'm so lazy. But here are the plans. One of them is probably gonna go, go through. Is practicing Battletoads, uh, the, the Game Boy version. Uh, wait, no, hang on, that's not right. The Battletoads, uh, Game Boy title. Not the one that's based on the NES, but the one that was kind of its own thing. Uh, I'm, pra I'm practicing it for, to speedrun it and beat the world record. I can do it. I can do it. I just need to be... 30 seconds faster in that game, and I've got world record. So, excited to do that, especially if you watch me stream on Twitch TV, which you really, you really should follow, because that's, uh, that's where I'm probably going to be a little bit more active. And if anything, follow my Twitter, because I always like put the notifications that I'm playing on Twitch right now. So, practicing Battletoads Game Boy uh, speedrun. Not Ragnarok World, just a note. I would like to get the Kid Chameleon uh, quickie out, you think being called a quickie, it would just be like, you know, within a week or so. Uh, but no, I'm actually having trouble scripting this because I'm, I'm feeling very conflicted with the game. I don't like it, but it's like, because some of the levels are just like pieces of shit. But it's like, um, it has some good ideas in it and it has like, 
you know, there are some good things about it. It's just there are just parts of it that are just like... This is my reaction to it. In fact, uh, I did record myself well, let's playing it, but playing through it. It was six hours of me screaming and yelling at it. Well, half of that time, but... Uh, yeah, so I so based on that fact, I probably don't really like the game. There are parts that I that I think are good, but I kind of don't like. So I'm having trouble scripting it and like getting my thoughts out because I don't want it to be overly negative when there are actually some good things in it. Okay. Still don't like it though. And uh, I I said this like a week or so ago or whatever time like at the time of this recording. Uh, I I had a new episode for. The good, the bad, the game for, uh, yeah, a new episode of that. I don't know if I was say if I said it was uh, Breath of the Wild. Well, guess what? It's Breath of the Wild because I beat it recently and I jot down all my thoughts of what's, of what I, uh, what I liked, what I thought was good, and what I thought wasn't so good. Um, the, the bad parts are not really that bad. It's just, they're really minor, but I'm still going to list them there. So when you watch the video, I probably will have to put a disclaimer saying, the good, the minor bad for that, because Breath of the Wild is really good. I really, 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 really liked it and would really like to play it some more. Or, I should say, again. But, um, you know, there are still, like, some small things about it that I don't like, and that's kind of what I'm listening about. Just the small things I've found. The more petty you find it, the... The... I don't know where... I, I don't know where I was going, there, going with that. There... Like, the, the, the things I find bad about the game aren't game breakers, but, you know, they're things worth noting. Let's just go with that. Games I've got from back from January till now, and, well, it's not a lot because it's like, uh... Still doing that job hunting thing, so can't spend all willy-nilly. Although there are a few occasions where it's like, uh... Like, I'll, I'll get some, but... From what I listed... Most of this was bought, was bought, was uh, given to uh, given to me, or I uh, bought by uh, my friend D. Tyson. Um, Double Dragon Four for Steam. That's how we played it, and we never played it again. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild for Wii U. Um, I could have taken advantage of the EB Games uh, trade in three and get it free, but. I missed it, I, I kind of forgot about it, so it was like, oh, lost opportunity. So, uh, D. Tyson got it for me, and I was like, oh, well, shit, that's really expensive, man. He was like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's like, you know, this seems like a big title, and uh, I don't want you to miss out on it. And I'm like, okay. Oh, I did get him a Terminator for the Sega Genesis, a game that he's been looking for, and it's a game that's... I wouldn't say it's rare, but it's kind of... You don't really notice it. So, I got him that in return. I know it seems weird, but no, it's something that he actually wants, because, uh, me, like, people know what I want, but, like, you know, rarely pe rarely do, uh, people know what, uh, D. Tyson wants, because he's not a very material... Is that, was that what you call some, someone who, like, uh, kind of, like, kind of, like, oh, that likes having stuff around, like, for me, video games and stuff, like, uh, D. Tyson is not like that. It's, uh, he just want he, he only wants what's necessary and what he actually really likes, so he doesn't have all, like, extra stuff. He doesn't, you know, collect necessarily, like, uh, collect needlessly. Let's just say that. Uh, he also... He also gave me, uh... Castlevania on the NES. Uh, now I own an official copy for that. Thank you, Dan. D. Tyson. Thank you, Dan. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. I think I, there might be some more stuff I got. I know Humble Bundle had a few free games to give out that, uh, well, it's free. Why not get them? But, uh, I'm not gonna list that because it's just like, oh, well, whatever. It was just free. It wasn't like anything, like, out of the way and such. So, continuing on, I have a new section right here for this vlog. Games I've been playing or beaten. Alright, so, I've beaten... Uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and found out that I'm kind of glad I didn't get it back back then when it was on the GameCube because I, I 
I, I actually... There's stuff I like about the game, but I kind of hate it. And, and, uh, it's, and the, my reasoning for hating it is not going to be fair. Because I, pl I played Breath of the Wild, which I did beat, and then I jumped back to uh, Wind Waker. Okay, okay, here, let's, let's rewind. So, I got the chance to play Breath of the Wild at ANC Game, or ANC World, which is also ANC Games. Um, thing shut down. I got to play it on the Switch for a brief moment, and I was like, wow, this game is legit amazing. Now I must own this somehow. So that didn't ha that didn't happen for a little bit, because otherwise that that game I got there is contradictory. So uh, my other friend, uh, Safety Man, Danger Man, you've you've probably seen him if you watch my Let's Play channel, you've seen me play games with him. So he brought so he brought the game over to play, and uh, I played it, and I'm like, and it's just like, God, this is so this game is so good, it's so addicting. I gotta I wanna play more of more of this. So. So what was, what, was, what, was, what was it? So I gave it back to him, and I was and I was like, uh, "Oh, dude, I can't play this game without you because we got such funny commentary on it. Because you would say some things, and I would say I would respond with certain things, things, and like it was great. It was it was a lot of fun. So so it was like, okay, I'm not gonna play the game until you come over so that we can play it together. So then it was like, so then I was just like, oh, I want to play Breath of the Wild, but I can't get it." Because my friend Matt is not here to commentate with me, because it's really, really good. It's just like, oh. It's like, wait, I know. Let's play uh, Wind Waker. So I played it, and I'm like, this is gonna be unfair. But after playing Breath of the Wild, I really don't like Wind Waker. It kind of sucks. It's not terrible, but like, uh. It's kind of like where I'm in this spot where it's just like I kind of don't see how people can really like this. Um, and like I said, it's not fair because Breath of the Wild did so many things that was just like that made the game fluid and just like much better than a lot of the older 3D Zelda titles. So when I say uh, Wind Waker is bad, that's I, I don't that's the um, I think Wind Waker is bad because I played Breath of the Wild and it's not a fair comparison. So. Uh, before you go like, oh, no, fuck you, Wind Waker is great and stuff. If you like Wind Waker, I'm not gonna stop you. I did beat it all the way through, but it was like, um, after playing Breath of the Wild, yeah, this, this section is really great, huh? But after playing Breath of the Wild, I, I kind of realized how, like, the older Zelda titles, not just Wind Waker, you know, Ocarina, uh, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, it's like, uh, I don't like any of the older Zelda titles that... The older 3D Zelda titles. I still love the 2D overhead uh, style because uh, you know that's just a lot of fun, and the limitations in them made sense. But in 3D games, it's just like after playing Breath of the Wild, everything seems really backwards and stupid. So that goes for Wind Waker, and I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a part of that group that's like, a, oh, you know, the surfing is really boring and shit, but the surfing is really boring and shit. Did I say surfing? I meant sailing. Like, I, I didn't want to be in that crowd. I want to be like, uh, I'm going to like the sailing and all that stuff. But it's just like, man, this is really fucking boring. I'm just sailing, waiting to get to the next island. And each part of the map has like a, uh, has one island or so. And, you know, stuff just happens. There. It's like, there's nothing. Oh, occasionally you get attacked by like some shark. But it's like, oh, I'm going to keep driving and not care about driving. Sailing, and I'm not going to care. It's like, it's not like Breath of the Wild, where it's like, as I'm traveling, interesting stuff is happening, like... Like, ooh, shiny! Oh, look, it's it's a Korok! Oh, look, there's a weapon over there! Hey, an enemy camp with a treasure chest, I'm gonna go get that! That Wind Waker, it's just like... Oh, look, a shark, fuck that. What?! Stop, Link! You cannot go here, cause fuck you! Story! That, that's what I hated, too. I was like, oh, if you're gonna let me explore, at least let me explore. Don't stop me in the middle of the game and be like, you can't go here, Link. You're not ready. Breath of the Wild didn't fucking do that, except in the introduction area. And they said, um, yeah, isn't this great? We're talking about, like, Breath of the Wild and stuff. So, and that's why I like Breath of the Wild. It's just so much more free. 
yeah, the store is all over the place, but uh, it depends on what per kind of person you are. I kind of don't really care. Like I'll, I like I'll, you know, I'll take a listen to it, and if it's interesting enough, I'll pay attention. But otherwise, you know, I want to, I want to play a really good game and do and do all the exploring and stuff and make up my own story. Okay, Let, let's stop us. So I beat Wind Waker, which, uh, which on an unfair note, I don't like. Uh, Breath of the Wild, I've beaten it. Yes. I also beat this game called Odalis. I don't know how you pronounce that. The Dark Call. It's a Castlevania... It's a very Castlevania-like... Met or Castlevania... Metroidvania-like game, and... It's... It's pretty neat. Uh, I, got, I gotta say, um, If you're a fan of Castlevania, I would recommend checking it out. No, maybe I can do a quickie on that for, like, Halloween, so... If I do a cookie for Halloween, I mean, I should probably do it now and then save it for Halloween and whatnot. So yeah, I beat that game. I, I would recommend it. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Uh, has some tiny frustrating moments. Like, I, I, you can get over it. Uh, I also beat Octodad, the de the deadliest catch, which uh, I always had it in my library. I always, I always wanted to play it, so I got around to playing it, and I don't know if I'm playing the patch version where it's like, I'm pretty sure I played the patch version. It's like, uh, it's not as frustrating, but it's still kind of frustrating. Uh, it's a very silly game. If if you're frustrated at, at it, it's like that's almost kind of the point, is that you're controlling this, oct this octopus and all those tentacles are all going around the, the fucking place. And it's like, uh, it's, like, it, it's weird. It's like, the it's... I, I called it like the frustrating fun kind of thing, where it's like when you succeed, it's like yes, but when you're not, you're like the fuck move, and that happens a lot. So it's like it's like you can get angry at it, but you also can't get angry at it, as in like, well, I can't be angry at it. I it's like you know that's how the game works, but at the same time, I'm still gonna yell at yell at the game for it. But up the dead deadly, deadliest catch. It was interesting. Oh, I gotta say. Definitely make sure you have all your files like updated or like reevaluated or whatever because uh, throughout my entire playthrough that you can see on YouTube uh, My Octodad was completely inked like I did not play like his, his whole entire character model was just all like uh, jet black inked So it was it was very very odd, but uh, kind of appropriate because he's an octopus although yeah, they spit, they spit ink So yeah, I beat that. It's a short game too. So another one I uh, played and beat recently is Battletoads on Game Boy, because I'm speedrunning it, obviously I'm going to have to beat it. I've beaten it like once or twice before, so I tried uh, practicing with it on uh, my Game Boy Advance SP, and I can't beat it on the handheld, because there are moments where you got to like really bash, or not bash, mash the key to like do a lot of hits, hits in and like the screen shakes all over it, like... It disorients, uh, you know, where you are, and plus the buttons are small, so I'll be doing the wrong moves and such, uh, but on, on Super Game Boy, I, I'm, I beat it, like, way more consistently, because the D-pad is a lot bigger, so I don't accidentally make these, like, really stupid moves, or have it to where, uh, apparently I'm still pressing certain buttons, and plus customization of the buttons, because, uh, the layout on, the layout on the Super Ninten or Nintendo is so much better. But yeah, but I'm still gonna bring it up. I'm, I've been beating it a lot more uh, recently, and uh, this another game that I'm playing kind of right now. I've played it before, and I've streamed it before. Is Tele Glitch Die More Edition? I don't know. I just kind of wanted to play like a um, a horror game where you're trying to survive. I like survival horror games where you can fight back, and you just kind of kind of have to plan and go through it. There are like there are other games like that. Um, there was another game like that. Uh, Resident Evil 4 counts, but that's not the one I was thinking of. Uh, uh, oh wait, it's roguelike. That's, that's kind of the thing. I guess receiver would kind of technically count, but yeah, that one I'm kind of playing right now. In addition to speed running um, Battletoads on Game Boy. Speaking of Battletoads, I need to de I need to like play on the NES game again and uh, de rust because I, I think I'm actually like. Parts of it are slipping from my brain, like it's still hardwire, but they're like all rusted and stuff. Things I've done. Well, recently, since I'm recording at the end of uh, May, I did in fact go to Anime North 
2017. Not for the convention itself, but for uh, GFA, Games Finished Adequately, which is basically a speedrunning event for to um, get donations for uh, sick kids. I did not join this year, although I think I could have, because apparently they were not accepting uh, accepting uh, fees. Oh, excuse me, mandatory donations for it. Yeah, only, only like a set number of people are gonna get that. But, but yeah, I didn't enjoy it. But I was around the convention and stuff, and hanging out with my uh, with, uh, well, basically catching up with people I know. So that was essentially it. Uh, did I wish I did go around the convention? Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't have a ticket because I I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy a ticket. And I'm not gonna buy a ticket because it's just like. Mm. I don't feel like it, but I could have. I could have walked around. There was some interesting, like uh, you know, after post uh, or post con photos I saw, and I was like, oh well, oh that would have been nice if I. That would have been kind of nice, but not necessary if I was uh, walking around there. I hope this vlog doesn't go on forever because I, cause I'm chatty. Still doing that job hunting thing, so so I finally went to like a job agency. I'm. I was supposed to be contacted like this week and whatnot, and I hope the pl the plan that I read on the um, on the application is as true as it sounds. Uh, basically, it has this thing where they try where they help you to prep to you know uh, to to help you get a job. And the thing is, though, while they're helping you, you are paid minimum wage uh, by the government. As you're like, you know, doing all this training and stuff, and you know, that's a really good in that's a really good incentive. It doesn't it doesn't waste your time while you're job hunting. Like, you know, they're trying to help you, and then once you got the get your job and so forth, you know, now you're gonna make that type of money, and you got you got to put in like 60 to 90 hours and whatnot. It's it's called the youth job. Uh, shoot, I had a piece of, I had a piece of paper. I had a piece of paper that was uh, telling me that. I'll be right back. Ah, okay, there we go. Youth job connection. Okay, that that was what it was. So, yeah, that's that's interesting. Uh, the the uh, supposedly the the plan is that while they're training you, you know, to uh, prepare your to prepare you, you know, make you. Fuck, I can read. I can read off. Stuff like job readiness, uh, employment. Related skills, career development, personal management, all that stuff. All activities are paid with minimum wage. That's some pretty good incentives, and you know, like I said, it doesn't waste your time. Which is kind of, which is kind of the problem. It's just like it's just time. Nobody, nobody got time for that, especially when you like, are like out of high school. So, like I said earlier, watched Logan from like I forget, I forget when early. Uh, 2017. I'm pretty sure it was in March. It was February. I don't remember. Whenever the movie came out, uh, watched it on the Sunday, like two days after it came out on a Friday. I think it was a March. Maybe. So that's so that's my uh, vlog for the month of May. Sorry you didn't hear from me for a long time. It's just uh, trying to get back into the groove of things. I. Uh, hope to succeed and hope uh, you guys will be supportive enough that I'll be like, yes, I gotta, I gotta live up to the expectations and whatnot for this, and you know, just, just uh, become great. So with that said, this was 100 years of viewers, and I'm the vloggers. See ya.